one can consider as buying opportunity we can enter into the long trade for the target of r1 r2 and r3 hi friends chitra here welcome to my youtube channel how are you all hope you are all doing good today we are going to see what are the different camera pivot points and what are the different support and the resistance level and how can we trade if the price is in between the resistance and the support that is between R3 and S3 or between R3 and R4. So we are going to see how can we trade using different levels. So we can see how can we enter into the trade if the price is in between R3 and S3. So R3 is the resistance and S3 is the support. So how can we enter into the trade if the price is at S3 or R3 in between these ranges? by when the price moves back above s3 that is if the price is going above s3 after going below s3 that is the red candle is going below s3 and after that we got a green candle means the buyers entered and they took the price up market up so we got a green candle at s3 so we can enter into the long trade what will be the target the target will be the r1 and r2 and the third target is r3 levels what is a stop loss if you are entering into the trade? The stop loss can be placed at the S4 level that is below this S3. There is one support that is called S4. Next, how can we enter into the trade if the price is at R3 here? Okay, wait for the price to go above R3. That is we have to allow this uh, no, market to go above R3. And after that, we are getting a rejection from the R3 here. Again, we can go for a selling trade that is go for short. What will be the target for the short trade? The first target will be the S1, S2 and S3 levels. And what is the stop loss? Stop loss will be above R3 that is R4. We can place the stop loss above R3 that is the R4 level. That is the next resistance. So if the price is in between R3 and S3, this is the R3 that is the resistance level and S3 is the support level. Okay. So if the price is in between R3 and S3, here the price came and touched the S3 level and after that price is trying to go below. After that what happened? Buyers try to push the price up. Okay. And here we got an inverted hammer candle also. So this is a candlestick pattern. Okay. So after that we got a green candle. So buy when the price move back above S3 after going below S3. See after going below S3 is this red candle and after that trying to go above S3 is this green candle. So where can we enter long? We can enter long above this green candle. We can enter long above this green candle. Okay. And what will be the target? Target will be R1, R2. So this is the first target. This is the second target. And this is the third. R3 is the third target. Okay. So we got our first target here. And the second target got achieved here. This is the third target. Stop loss can be placed at the S4 level. So this will be the stop loss if you are entering into the long trade. If the price is in between R3 and S3, how can we enter into the trade? So this is the R3, that is the resistance level and S3 is the support zone. Okay, so wait for the price to go above R3. So this is a green candle that is going above R3. And then when it moves back below R3, so it is moving back from R3, that is going below R3. This is a red candle, that is a doji candle. Okay, and we got the rejection from R3. That is the place where we'll be entering into the short trade. That is, we look for selling opportunity. All right. What will be the target? Target will be S1, S2 and S3 levels. We can keep this as first target and we can trail our profit still S2 and S3. Okay. And uh, what will be the stop loss? Stop loss is, is always at R4. Okay. We can keep the stop loss at R4. Else we can keep the stop loss at the swing high. So this is the latest swing form. So this high we can keep as the stop loss if you are entering into the short trade. So till now we have seen if the price is in between R3 and S3 how to enter into the long and the short trade. Now we will see if the price is in between S3 and S4 how to enter into the trade that is between the two support zone S3 is the support 3 S4 is the support 4 that is S4 okay. So scenario 1 S3 breakout if the price breakout from S3 that is price is going from S3 above S3 and following candle breaks the high of the previous candle okay. One can consider as buying opportunity. We can enter into the long trade for the target of R1, R2 and R3. 
stop loss what will be the stop loss that is the low of the last swing so this is the example of s3 breakout here the price is in between s3 and s4 so we will be entering into the long trade at s3 so s3 we got a breakout so we will be entering into the long trade and we can keep the stop loss as low of the swing this is the low of the swing okay so here we are entering into the long trade first target is the r1 that is the resistance one second target is r2 and third target is the r3 that is the resistance number three so this is how we will enter into the long trade if the price is in between s3 and s4 if the price is in between s3 and r3 in the scenario number one we have seen that s3 breakout if we are getting any green candle at s3 we can go for a long trade for the target of r1 r2 and r3 in the scenario number two we are looking for s4 breakdown means we can look for short okay if the price break down from s4 and if the following candle breaks the low of the previous candle one can consider as selling opportunity for the target of s5 what will be the stop loss stop loss will be the high of the last swing in this example we can see that s4 breakdown okay so here the price is in between s3 and s4 okay so we got a red candle that is giving a close below s4 so one can enter into the short trade for the target of s5 so we got that target okay so this is how we have to enter into the short trade if you are getting s4 breakdown and if the price is in between s3 and s4 we have to enter into the short trade at s4 breakdown if the price is in between r3 and r4 so we will see the scenario one that is r3 breakdown so it is between the two resistance zone if the price break down from r3 and if the following candle breaks the low of the previous candle we can enter into the selling opportunity or we can enter into the short trade for the target of s3 and stop loss will be the high of the last swing here in this example the price is in between r3 and r4 and we got a rejection at r3 so we'll be looking for short trade that is selling opportunity okay so the target will be s1 is the first target second target is s2 and third target is s3 so if we are getting any rejection at r3 and if the price is in between r3 and r4 that is between the two resistance zone we'll be looking for selling trade all right so now we will see if the price is in between r3 and r4 that is the resistance number three and four so scenario number two r4 breakout if the price break out from r4 and if the following candle breaks the high of the previous candle one can consider as buying opportunity for the target of r5 and what will be the stop loss stop loss is the low of the last formed swing in this example so the r4 breakout okay here the price is in between r3 and r4 so here we got the green candle which is giving a close above the r4 so we'll be entering into the long trade target of r5 okay so we got the target achieved and what will be the stop loss stop loss is the last formed swing low we can keep the last formed swing low as the stop loss so where is the no trading zone if we get an r3 breakout we are not going to enter into the long trade and if we get an s3 breakdown also that is considered as a no trading zone hope this video is useful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications thank you for watching